Alright, so in previous classes, we've been able to see how to successfully register a new user on our app and also we've seen how to log in our user into our application. Now the next thing we need to do will be to automatically log in the user if he or she has already been logged in into our app before. And so it's kind of very inappropriate that every single time our user will always you know, bump into the login screen when the last session he or she has already logged in. So we're going to go ahead and see how to solve this problem. Okay, so in our Visual Studio, there are two files that we need to pay attention to, two files or two classes. So we need to pay attention to the app delegate class and the scene delegate class. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app delegate class and I'm going to explain what this file is all about. So let me go ahead and re-explain what this file is all about. As you can see here, the UI application delegate for the application, this class is responsible for launching the user interface of our application as well as listening to the application events from iOS. So what this means for the most part is that this file is responsible for launching our application. So it's at this particular point that we decide which page or which view controller that we want to load first of all into our application. So the next thing we need to talk about will be the scene delegate class. Alright, so the scene delegate class is almost like the same thing with the app delegate class, but they have just some few differences. So with the advent of iOS 13, Apple introduced something new called scenes. The scenes allows us to have multiple windows of our application. So if we write any code in the scene delegate, it's actually going to execute only on devices running iOS 13. So currently the simulator that we are using to test our app is iOS 13. So if we want to decide the first page that we want to display to the user, we have to write such a code in the scene delegate. Now for other devices that are running iOS versions that are below 13, the code that is going to decide what page to launch first of all will have to be written in the app delegate class. So this is how we can go about to achieve automatic login. Now all we need to do is to check if there is a current Firebase user logged into our app. If there is a current Firebase user, it means that someone or a user has already been logged in. We we'll just need to go ahead and send the user into our main page or into our main app. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and start writing the code that is going to decide which page to start from. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and assign a value to this window property that we have. So here I'm going to go ahead and say window will be equal to new UI window. And this is going to take an instance of UI screen, the main screen, the bounds. All right. So now that we successfully defined our window, the next thing we need to do will be to get an instance of our storyboard. So the storyboard will allow us to now select which view controller that we want to load first. So our storyboard is going to be equal to UI storyboard dot from name. So the storyboard of interest here is our main storyboard. So we're going to just pass main to that. And this is going to be null. Alright. Now the next thing we need to do will be to confirm if our current user is not equal to null. So to do that, we're going to make use of an if statement. So I'm going to say if auth. So auth stands for authentication. So let's go ahead and resolve this. So I'm going to say auth dot default instance dot current user. So if this is not equal to null, so this means that we have a user already logged in. So all we need to do is to go ahead and make our main view controller as the root view controller or the first page that is going to display in this application. So to do that, I'm going to save our main view controller. So this is going to be equal to storyboard dot instantiate view controller and the view controller I want to instantiate is our main view controller so what I'm actually typing out here is the storyboard identifier which we set in the storyboard designer so let me just go ahead and show that to us quickly okay so this is our storyboard ID So 
So I'm going to go ahead and cast this as an instance of main view controller. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and say this dot set window. So here we're going to pass it the instance of the window that we just created. And lastly, we need to now go ahead and say window dot root view controller. And this is going to be equal to main view controller. Alright, so this is all we need to do to automatically send the user into the main page if he's already logged in. Now the next thing we need to do is to open up the login page if no user is currently logged in. So to do that, I'm going to just go ahead and use an else statement. So we're going to go ahead and define an instance of login view controller. So this is going to be equal to storyboard dot instantiate view controller and we're going to pass the storyboard ID so this is the storyboard ID so we're going to cast this as login view controller and bam now the next thing we need to do is just to go ahead and repeat this same process so I'm going to say this dot window this dot set window rather I'm going to pass window to this and window dot root view controller is going to be equal to login view controller alright so this is basically all that we need to do but just like I already explained the app delegate is for devices that are running iOS versions lesser than 13 so for us to be able to do the same thing on newer iOS devices, we need to go ahead and write a code that does similar stuff in our scenedelegate.cs. Okay, so here in the scene delegate, this is the method that actually launches our application, the will connect method. So inside of this method, inside this code block, we're going to go ahead and write codes that are similar with the one we wrote in the app delegate. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and define a new instance of a window scene. So like I already explained, iOS 13 makes use of scenes. So we are going to define a new instance of window scene. Alright. So we're going to have window scene. This is going to be equal to new UI window scene. And here we're going to go ahead and pass it the section, which is this section that we see here. And also we're going to go ahead and pass it the connection options, which is this. Okay, so after defining our window scene, the next thing we need to do will be to define a new instance of a window. So I'm going to have var window. This is going to be equal to new UI window. And for us to be able to create a window, we are going to pass an instance of our window scene. So here I'm going to go ahead and pass it our window scene that we just defined. Alright, now the next thing we need to do will be to grab an instance of our storyboard. So this is going to be equal to UI storyboard dot from name. And here we're going to pass in the name of our storyboard, which in this regard is main. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and check if we have a current user logged into our app. So to do that, we're going to just go ahead and say if auth. So auth is the instance of Firebase authentication. So we're going to say auth.default instance dot current user. All right. So if our current user is not known, it means that a user is already logged in. Now the next thing we need to do will be to grab an instance of our main view controller. So I'm going to have var. So this is just very similar to what we did in our app delegate method. So I can easily go ahead and copy this line of code and paste this here. Okay, so I need to just fix this. So let's go ahead and resolve this. Okay, so now everything is back in order. The next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and set our window. So I'm going to say this dot set window I'm going to go ahead and pass it the window that we just defined. 
All right. Now the next thing we need to do will now be to set the root view controller of this window. So we're going to say window dot root view controller. So just like the name goes, the root view controller is going to be the first view controller in our application. So this is going to be equal to main view controller. And lastly, I need to go ahead and say window. So we need to check for now. And I'm going to go ahead and say make key and visible. So make key and visible is a convenient way of making our window the first window or the key window in our application. So like I already explained, iOS 13 allows us to run multiple windows in our application. But we are not going to be getting into all of that in this particular lesson. Now, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and change all of this to login view controller. So I can easily just go ahead and copy this and paste this here. Change this to login view controller. Change this to login view controller as well. And edit this to login. All right. So copy and paste sometimes can actually help you to speed up your code. So this is basically all that we need to do. So to verify that all of this works appropriately, it's about time that we'll go ahead and test our app on a simulator. So what we expect to happen is that our user will automatically be logged in into the main page. So instead of having to go to the login page, will just be sent directly into the main app. So as you can see, this is our main page. So this is exactly what we want to achieve in this lesson. Now in the coming lessons, we need to go ahead and start designing our main page. So as soon as you're ready, head over to the next video so that we can get started.